So, Chelsea nil, Arsenal won. What are your thoughts on the game, Fata? What do you think we could have done differently? And um, does this thought... game really matter if we lift the FA Cup in the Champions League? Mm. I thought first and foremost we we were poor today um, in all departments. Um, unfortunately, the, the rotation did not come in the wrong time. I feel I feel that we missing a couple of key players in our team that 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 can be crucial for this game, and unfortunately it backfired on us. And the way that we played today against arguably one of the worst side in the in the top ten. It's so jarring to watch, I can't lie. Um, in that first half, I was kind of a bit cautious just because Arteta, for me, could can can turn up in a bigger occasion, especially against us. He had Chelsea, yeah, Chelsea in his phone number. This is the third time that Arteta has beaten us, and it's embarrassing to watch, I, I would say. In the film. And first two times was Lampard tax. Yeah. This time round, we played a weakened side, and we had arguably one of the worst goalkeepers in the Premier League in yeah, the, in the match. Ab- absolute no excuses, I think. No, ex- on, yeah, but yeah, no on, excuses. On, on paper, Nippon, it should be, we should be being the team, hundred percent, regardless. I mean, if you look at Arsenal, the way that they're having their season in, it's the it's the most. Worst season, I would say, the worst season in Arsenal for years, and and for this game, we just gave them a hype, a big hype, you know, and it's so jarring to watch, man. And the fact that for the first time, Arsenal since 2011-12 season gave us a win at Stamford Bridge, and for the first time since the invincible season, they'd done a double against us. You know what happened the season after the Invincibles? Yeah, we won the league, but again, man. League. And you know what I happened feel, in the, I feel in the same that. season they won at Stamford Bridge in 2011-12? You know what happened? Uh, yeah, Nippon, but I feel like in t- if you look at the grand scheme of things, yeah, we we do we do need a, we do need a three points to secure our place in the top four. Now, yeah, the plan, the well, plan doesn't now go. have to rely That's, on Manchester United to absolutely. Yeah, the plan doesn't go on really well. Now we have to rely on other teams to to do work for us, but we can't do that in in the latter stages of the season where every game is very crucial. You look at West Ham. Yeah, West Ham about six points behind us coming to this game, and now and now where they are now, six points behind us. If they if they win against Brighton, man, oh my days, they go back, back three points behind us again. But I'm not going. I'm not going to sit here like rely on other other teams that we should be beating this team regardless, no matter what, man. And it's Arsenal for of any other side. Why is always us giving a charity FC to the Arsenal? And look, man, the mistakes from that goal we, in the back as well, we man. Get trapped. Look. Let's not kid ourselves here. Arsenal were poor. We had them on strings. It, we gift wrapped them that win with that Jorginho mistake. You say that, man, but look at the, the the mistakes that we made in the back. That's disgusting to watch, man. Kurt Zuma as well. How many times have I said here, keep criticizing Kurt Zuma? He's not a back three player. He's a back four player for out loud. You cannot put a player... On a system that that he doesn't suit it. Zuma is not a back three player. He's a back four player for crying out loud. I know and, that Rudiger should have played this game. And to be fair, in that mistake, we've seen the liability in the past where Zuma playing as a left hand side defender. And that goal, man, it's it feels like there's a bit of miscommunication all around. There's going to be lots of arguments like. Whether it's the Kepa's fault, whether it's the Jorginho's fault, and all that. At any other day, it's not all all them's fault, man. It's just like I look up, look the replay back again. Look, look at Zoom at the time in the space. Ben Chilwell told Ben Chilwell keep telling him pass it this way. Billy Gilmore told him as well, don't pass to Jorginho. 
because there's because uh because the way that Arsenal press us, it's their game plan. They're gonna press our press our back three. And look what happened. We're we're suddenly panicking and we're making a silly errors, and that's what costs us today. And who I knows? Think, who, I think we just have just fielded our first eleven. I mean, it's Arsenal. It's a must-win game. It's a London derby, and we show up like that. Yeah, man. I mean, like, I, I, I have no idea more, what man. I have no idea. I can't say nothing more. I'm dejected, man. I'm dejected as well, bro. I'm, 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 I'm actually is. quite calm because we have the FA Cup final coming up. Look, in the grand scheme of things, if we win the FA Cup final, this win won't bother me that much. I mean, if we win the Champions League, this win won't bother me that much. But look, let's just give Tuchel a summer transfer window and see if and get let him bring his own players in. Who would you sign in the summer? We do need the um um I don't think George has got it's got to be the um, I don't think he's that guy that can take us in the longer term. Um, he's a good backup. I, I I genuinely think he's gonna stay for another season. Um, Jorginho. Yeah. Jorginho. Yeah. Um, Kepa, would... I'm not sure. What, I'm not sure where to go with Kepa. Um, I've seen a lot of fans base still backing Kepa for that goal, but in, let's be honest, Kepa is a prone error type of person that that can, you know, that can that can make. Chelsea I initially, fans, that can give a Chelsea fan a heart attack, but I, I genuinely really feel we do, we do need a DM, um, maybe a backup goalkeeper, and also maybe a, a, a backup striker that can do a team with Werner. But at the moment, man, I'm just going. I'm just going through the motion. You know what? After this defeat, any Arsenal fans have this match as a you know we've done the double over us. It's a false hype. I can't lie. And look, I, this so I'm just kind of looking forward oh. to the FA Cup final and just you know, and then after that, this is killer top four. And then I honestly forward. think Tuchel was resting his best players for the FA Cup final. Look, if I was Thomas Tuchel, I would have said, now, nah. I mean, like, this is Arsenal. We can't show them any sort of respect. It's a London derby. Bragging rights are on the line. We should, go, I mean, like, we should, regardless of what game we have next, we should go just go full guns <coughs> racing. We could have tested Kepa in a different game. See what I'm saying. In terms of starting lineup, I don't fault any other way that Tuchel. I don't. I don't know what Tuchel could have done that in terms of the rotational lineup. I, in terms of goalkeeper, I don't think we do need you know give him Mendy a rest because Mendy literally, apart from Man City game and Real Madrid game, he done not, he done nothing to do though. So. I understand the way he said it at the, at the full time. Like he said it, he said it like, um, I, I want to make sure that Kepler get has the full fitness. I but, fully expect no, 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 full fitness. I want Mendy to start in the FA Cup final. Yeah, hundred percent. Regardless, regardless what happened, the decision to go, Mendy's going to start for sure for the cup final because I think the cup final is going to be huge for us. And we and it's, a, it's just a bonus. It's just for me the, the FA Cup is just a bonus, and we want to secure the top four first. And um, if we get our FA Cup, that's good. That's a bonus for us. We, that means we got a community shield match against uh, Man City uh, next season, and the Champions League is just we just adding another trophy in our cabinet. But at the moment, I'm just focusing the top four. And, I want a trophy, uh, mate. Yeah, yeah. I, I understand. I understand. I understand the priority of that, Nippon, but. I feel that the top four is a priority first, and then the FA Cup as a side bonus, I would say, and then mm. and then you can add you can add Champions League in that as well. But yeah, man, I'm just looking forward to the game on Saturday. Um, and then and then um, today's an Eid Mubarak day. I'm just looking forward to you know have a Eid Mubarak, have a good time, man. Yeah, have Mubarak. a good time with family. But I'll be doing fan we we'll be we'll doing, doing fan one. camps for the FA Cup final as well. Yeah, hopefully. So I'll DM you a link for that too. Yeah, hopefully. But fingers crossed. Anyway, 
So yeah, and uh, so yeah, what, what what lineup do you want to see in the FA Cup final? Timo Werner has to start for sure. No, no more this, no more arguments about it. Look, 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 I do not expect Thomas Tuchel to rest anyone for the FA Cup final. Well, That's the only reason he right. dressed them today. I mean, like. I mean, like, yeah, I think that's why he rested them today. It's just unfortunate it was against Arsenal. It is hard, it's man. It's looking forward to the game on Saturday. So, uh, yeah, man. And I'll DM you the link for the fan. Uh, I, won't, I won't be here on Saturday because um, I'll be in the, in, the cut, in the stadium in that for the cup final. But, yeah. Oh, you're going make to sure, the game? Make sure you guys subscribe to Nippon's channel. Yeah. Have, okay, have so you won't be able to do a fan cam on Saturday then? No, I won't be able to. No. Okay. So, yeah. Look, guys, subscribe. Good channel. Um, would you like to shout out your socials before I end the, the if, stream? If there's, any, if there's any inquiries on my client, he can add me. At, uh, this is my, my inquiries. If you have any inquiries about my client, here we go. This is my contact in the Instagram. On Twitter, it'll be a, under a different name. So, on Twitter, if there's any inquiries about my client, he can add me on the right side as well. So, let's say big, up to, you. Right, big right. up to you. So, yeah, you are so, the host of my fan cams, and they will be uploaded on YouTube tomorrow yeah, when ciao. I get the time. Yeah, ciao, ciao. Anyway. Mm -hmm. Remember to like, share, comment, subscribe, and all that good stuff. Until next time, take care, and London is blue.